How to merge cells in Excel. This is what we are going to look at in this video. So I have some names here and as you can see I want the names to be in column A and column B now. So in this case I want to merge for example the cell A2 with cell B2. So I select both cells. Then in the home tab in the alignment section we click on merge and center. And now of course you don't want to repeat this manually for each row and therefore you click into the cell that you've already merged and then in the home tab you click on format painter. And now you simply have to select all the remaining rows which should be merged in the same way. So when I let the mouse key go you can see that all these rows will be merged in the same way as the first row that we merged. Now let's look at a second example. Um, let's now say we have a first name and a last name and we want these two columns to be merged. As you can see when we merge these two cells, so when I click on merge and center here, then Excel says that only the content of the first cell will be kept. So when we click on OK you can see the last name is being removed or is being lost. So what is the workaround here? The workaround is the following. We click up here where it says column identifier D. We do a right click on there. Then we select insert to insert a completely new column. And I will call this column name. Then what I'm going to do is to write the first name space last name since this is the information I want to keep and when I select the cell and move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell you can see that the cursor changes so now I click with the right mouse button on this fill handle and drag it downwards and in this context menu I select flash fill and now you can see that Excel is automatically merging the first name with the last name and now we can basically delete the columns B and C. So we mark the column identifier B and also C, do a right click on one of these, click on delete, and then we are left with the joint column. And here we could actually now again insert an empty column. And now we could join these two cells again and do this for all the other rows of course and then you can see we have merged two columns although both columns contained content. And by the way if it bothers you that the content is centered in these cells simply select the cells and up here in the alignment section click on align left. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to hit the like button. Thank you very much and I see you in the next one.